If you were an avid television watcher during the 60s, or if these days you suffer from insomnia, it's quite likely you've seen the series The Fugitive. The plot line, a man accused of murder, a U.S. Marshal obsessed with tracking him down. Well, the drama of the chase, the plight of a man wrongly accused, and the casting of Harrison Ford in the lead role would seem to be all the ingredients necessary for a big screen box office hit. Lori Brown takes a look at the movie version of the hit TV series. The Fugitive. A QM production. The Fugitive TV series is 30 years old this year. And David Jansen, who played Dr. Richard Kimball, the fugitive, and Canadian Barry Morse, who played the relentless Lieutenant Philip Gerard, are still collecting fans. You can see the reruns daily. And starting tomorrow night, you'll be able to see a new version of The Fugitive on the big screen. And as any rabid fan of the television series will tell you, this movie has a lot to live up to. Are you suggesting that I killed my wife? Are you saying that I crushed her skull and that I shot her? How dare you? The story remains much the well, same as that of the TV show, with Dr. Richard Kimball, now played by Harrison Ford, being sentenced to death for the murder of his wife, a murder he did not commit. You find this man. While being transported to prison, Kimball's busmates stage an escape, one that bungles in a big way. Kimball escapes and U.S. Marshal Sam Gerard, played by Tommy Lee Jones, is called in to lead the manhunt. What I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house in that area. Checkpoints go up at 15 miles. Your fugitive's name is Dr. Richard Kimball. Go get him. From that point on, it's a cat and mouse game that never slows down. Never given a nanosecond to formulate a plan, Kimball's flying by the seat of his pants for the entire film. Hey, Get out on your knees! Right now! No, no, hold on, listen. Sam, Motive. there's some guy online line three claims he's Richard Kimball. Kimball heads back to Chicago, the scene of the crime, where he dodges police and solves his wife's murder in his spare time. Not a job for a dummy. I think you uh, said something like, um, you didn't kill your wife. Remember what you told me? I remember you were pointing my gun at me. You said, I don't care. He's on the south side. Yeah, Richard, that's right. I don't care. I'm not trying to solve a puzzle here. Well, I am trying to solve a puzzle. Five seconds of location. And I just found a big piece. Richard. There are some spectacular shots of Chicago in this movie, and director Andrew Davis, of Under Siege fame, knows how to keep a movie hopping. But it's all action. We never find out what's on Kimball's mind. The psychological impact of suddenly having no identity and living on the run, the backbone of the TV series, is never even addressed in the film. The Fugitive starts out with the barbaric murder of a beautiful woman in her nightgown and is followed by a chase scene, a chase scene that lasts two hours. Hooray for Hollywood. Granted, uh, that bus does blow up real good, and the leap off the reservoir is spectacular, but that's where the excitement ends. Not a lot of talking in this film, and it's a pity, because there's two actors in this film that can handle anything. In fact, it's what Tommy Lee Jones and Harrison Ford do with the little they're given to work with that makes this film okay rather than dismal. On TV, The Fugitive was a gripping story of a desperate man on the run, on the big screen, it isn't. 
For Primetime News, I'm Lori Brown. The Fugitive opens in theaters across the country tomorrow night.